set of possible values of the independent variable is called domain of the function and set of possible values of the dependent variable is called the range of function. Now a function could be given either in the form of table or in the form of graph or in the form of equation. If function is given in the form of table. So let's consider case one. And in this situation, if function is given in the form of table like two, four, six, nine, and 8, 12, and 10, 15. If this is the case, we already have discussed that in this case, the domain will be the collection of the first element of every ordered pair. Here, here domain of function would be, domain would be simply the collection of first element of every ordered pair and that would be 2, 6, 8, 10. The collection of first element of every ordered pair will be the domain and range would be equal to, range of function would be the collection of second element of every ordered pair. So that would be 4, 9, 12 and 15. So this is for the table of values. But if the function is given in the form of graph, then the possible values on the horizontal axis are called domain of the function and the set of values along y axis or the dependent variable is called the range of the function. And in 90% cases, the function is expressed in the form of equation. So most, in most situations, in most situations, situations when function is expressed, when function is expressed, is expressed in the form of equation in the form of equation what will happen if the function is expressed in the form of equation let's say that here f of x is equal to 1 over x minus 1 if this is the function then what will be the domain the domain is the set of here first we need to decide what is the independent variable and what is the dependent variable so here independent variable independent dent variable would be equal to x those uh, whatever are the values of x that will make the domain so the domain here is equal to domain if whatever we put the value for x if x is equal to if x is equal to 2 what would be f of 2 f of 2 would be equal to 1 over 2 minus 1. So this would be equal to 1. So that's fine. So for x is equal to 2, f of 2 is a proper real number. That's why 2 is in the domain. If you put, if x is equal to 4, if x is equal to 4, then f of 4 is equal to 1 over 4 minus 1 which is equal to 1 over 3 and again 1 over 3 is a proper fraction and is a proper real number therefore 4 is in the domain as well in fact 
x can take any value and every value as long as that value is a real number f of x will give us a real number except one value of one value of x which will never give us a real number and what is that value if x is equal to if x is equal to 1 then what will happen f of 1 f of 1 will be equal to 1 over 1 minus 1 1 min over 1 minus 1 is in fact 1 over 0 and that is not defined that is not a real number which is not a real number which is which is not real number therefore this value of x is not in the domain because against this value of x there is nothing in the range there is no real number in the range which can be made image of this one because again whenever we put x equal to 1 in this definition of function we don't have a real number so the domain of this function will be set of all real numbers but we will take away one from it so we subtract from the set of real numbers this one and that will give us the domain of this function but for range range of this function is the entire set of real numbers this is how the domain and range work if we take a look on the example 2 example 2 if f of x if f of x is equal to 1 minus x square root then find domain and range find domain and range of function domain and range of function so if we put value of x here usually if you to take a look inside the square root what is given inside the square root there is x uh, 1 minus x so on the real line if we put this 1 minus x equal to 0 then x will give us the value 1 so 1 is a breaking point on the let's draw a real line on this real line whatever breaking point we have we should really divide the real line with that breaking point in mind if this is the breaking point x equal to 1 if this is the breaking point we will see if in the region left to x equal to 1 if values exist for the function so any value which is to the left of x equal to 1 is at x is equal to 0 let's see if there this gives us what we are looking for at x is equal to 0 f of 0 is equal to 1 minus 0 and 1 minus 0 is good that is a 1 square root and 1 square root is equal to 1 so this is a proper real number so in this region from minus infinity to this x equal to 1 at every point the function is defined and gives us a proper real number for the range let's try at x equal to at x equal to minus 10 in this area then what would be f of minus 10 f of minus 10 would be equal to 1 minus for the formula 
and then minus 10 for the value of x, this will give us 1 plus 10. And 1 plus 10 is 11. It is a real number. It is an irrational number, but it is still a real number. So this is perfectly okay. And we can safely say that for every value to the left of x equal to 1, we have a proper real number for the range. Therefore, function is totally defined to the left of x equal to 1 and every number to the left of 1 is, a, is in the domain. Let's see what happens if x goes to the right of 1 at x equal to at x equal to let's say 2 this is to the right so to the right and to the left so here at x equal to 2 f of 2 would be equal to 1 minus 2 which is a negative number inside the scale root and if there is a negative number inside the scale root that is not a real number which is not a real number which is not a real number so function f f of 2 is not defined is not defined means that there is nothing in the range so this is what we do here on this one this is side right side is called plus infinity and this breaking point is 1 and at 1 the function itself is defined therefore we are going to say that the domain is equal to domain is equal to minus infinity to 1 because at 1 the function is defined itself so we are going to include 1 that's why we have a close interval on this side and on the left side we put an open interval and that's it to the right of 1 there is nothing defined so the domain is this and for the range for the range of function if we substitute any value to the right of x equal to 1 there is nothing for the range that's why so that portion is already gone out of our domain and uh, what is the range that range will be only positive numbers because so this will be positive real numbers positive real numbers numbers so you can say r plus this is what will be called range because in this portion in this portion to the left of x equal to 1 whatever value you put for in the given definition of function you will always get a positive answer and that's why I have included that for the range the answer is only positive real numbers